But do you ever wonder if Elon Musk stands in front of the mirror and recites space, the final frontier? These are the voyages of you know how it all goes, right? Because Elon Musk, after the success of the SpaceX launch last week with the uh, Dragon capsule um, endeavor, Elon Musk is now saying that they are going to prioritize their Starship rocket development. That's the ship that will take people to the moon, but also to Mars. I want to bring the panel in to talk about this because Mr. Musk promises and so far he seems to be able to deliver. Can he deliver on this? You know? Yeah, Adam, and this is the big question, correct? Uh, SpaceX's big plans are eventually to go to the moon, to go to Mars. That's its most ambitious plan also to colonize Mars. And in an email to employees, Elon Musk said, please consider the top SpaceX priority, apart from anything that could reduce Dragon return risk, to be Starship. We need to accelerate Starship progress. So here's the goal of Starship. Starship is, the goal is eventually to design it to carry more than 100 people per flight to places like the moon, places like Mars, to be designed to be fully reusable, to carry both crew and cargo. And Starship is going to go to Earth orbit. It will go to the moon. It will go to Mars. The company unveiled a prototype last year. It recently, with the Starship rocket, had a bit of a setback with an engine test in Texas. So the big plan is for uh, SpaceX employees to focus on Starship, the next generation. So uh, I just was on the phone with Andrew Channon, and he's the CEO of Procure AM. They started an ETF uh, fund, a space ETF uh, fund called UFO. And he said, look, this is absolutely ambitious. Musk is seeing tremendous opportunity here. SpaceX has gotten a lot of attention because of its launch with uh, NASA to the ISS. And this is first mover advantage. This is also Musk trying to make sure, secure his plans for his company for the next 10 years and beyond. Hey, Inez, it's uh, Brian. I wanted to ask about the business implications of what SpaceX just did. There was a lot of chatter about whether or not they might IPO. I was wondering if that came up in conversation with, uh, with Andrew and whether or not uh, we should expect to see another public company from Elon Musk in the future, or if you do expect it to be private for at least a little while. I did have a conversation with uh, Chad, Chad Anderson from Space uh, Capital, and he actually had uh, talked about this uh, idea of, of the IPO for uh, Starlink for SpaceX's uh, satellite business. And this is something that had been reported on before that uh, SpaceX was considering this. Uh, I did get a confirmation that there was consideration of this in the future. Not sure exactly when that will happen, but certainly Starlink is the program that for SpaceX makes money. Satellites are the low hanging fruit, so to speak, when it comes to space and when it comes to investors investing in satellites. So this would be, the idea would be to spin off Starlink to make that a public company. And Elon Musk has said, in the past that the satellite business will generate enough revenue to be able to fund its more ambitious endeavors like colonizing Mars. And as Boeing is also building, it's not a necessarily a rocket, but a capsule that would be part of our return to the moon. And I think the way NASA envisions it is some kind of orbiting station that would then go back and forth between the moon. So you have to one get people to the station and then from the station to the lunar surface. Is SpaceX looking to bypass that entire process, do we know? Well, I, th I think that SpaceX is looking to also grab, uh, so to speak, money for for lunar uh, missions as well. So this is the other thing that Shannon had brought up, that SpaceX, by doing this, by focusing on the moon, focusing on Mars, is also trying to secure future funding as well. So if there are funds to be had for, a do, for uh, lunar, uh, lunar missions, certainly SpaceX wants to be a part of that. And the fact that it's been so successful with this last mission, and the fact that SpaceX got less money than Boeing did for essentially doing something similar to 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 take uh, astronauts to uh, the ISS. Uh, this this is good for SpaceX. I mean, it's it's very it bodes well for SpaceX. And this is part of the first mover advantage also to make sure that the, these company that it, it can secure funding going forward, because, yes, the government will fund um, explorations and will fund missions. But there's a finite amount of money to be had. 
And as for A, live long and prosper. We're prospering on Wall Street right now. We'll be right back to check markets. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.